Hello, I'm Trisha from realfluencynow.com, and today I'll teach you some phrasal verbs that use the word head. And if you haven't already done it, then please subscribe to my channel and click the bell. And if you would like to learn more English from me, then click the link in the description of this video to find out how. Now, I'm sure you know the basic meaning of the word head, this up here. But there are 10 phrasal verbs that use the word head, and also many idioms. But I'll teach you the idioms with the word head in another lesson. I also want to make sure that you know how to pronounce this word, headache. I have heard English learners pronounce the CH with a CH sound, and it sounds more like a K sound. It's headache. Now, many of the phrasal verbs that use the word head are related to directions or going someplace, but some also have other meanings that aren't so obvious. Number one is head back. Now, as a body part, this is our back, or you could talk about the back of your head, but as a phrasal verb, it has a very different meaning. Head back means to return to the place that you left earlier. A sample sentence is, You've been gone all day, and I'm really tired now, so let's head back home. Number two is head far, which means to move or travel towards some place. You can use it in the same sentence as the one before. Like, we've been gone all day, and I'm really tired now, so let's head for home. Because you are talking about returning to a place where you were before. But in this sentence, you can't use head back. It's getting late, I need to head for work. Unless you are at work, came home, and we're going to return back to work. Number three, head toward. This also has a similar meaning as head far, as in let's head toward the restaurant now. I'm hungry. Number four is head out. This means to go someplace or leave, as in I plan to head out around 10 o'clock so we aren't late for my meeting. Number five, head over. This means to go to a place, as in we'll head over there in a few minutes. Number six, head up. This one has two meanings as a phrasal verb. It can also just mean to turn your head up, a literal meaning. Sometimes we use it when talking about going someplace and to say what direction. In casual speech, up can mean north or to go up a hill. A sample sentence is, if he gets reelected, I'm going to head up to Canada. But it can also mean to lead or manage something. For example, she is going to head up the new company he started. Number seven is head down. Of course, this one also can mean literally to have your head down. But as a phrasal verb, it can mean to go south or down a hill. For example, I'll head down to your house after lunch. Or, if he gets reelected, I'm going to head down to Mexico. Number eight is head in or head inside. Again, this could have a literal meaning to actually put your head in something. But as a phrasal verb, it means to go back inside a building or room. For example, I'm going to head inside now. It's cold out here. Number nine is head off. Literally, this can mean your head off, you have your head cut off or something like, be careful, it might cut your head off. Or a more figurative meaning as a warning to be careful because someone or a place is dangerous. As a phrasal verb, it has three meanings. One is to leave, to go someplace, as in, I can't talk too long because I have to head off to work. Or it can mean to stop or force someone to change direction. As in, the sheriff headed the horse thieves off at the pass. You hear that used a lot in like old cowboy movies to head someone off at the pass. And number three, it can mean to prevent something bad happening. As in, it's best to prepare now to head off problems in the future. You could also just say avoid. That would work too. It's best to prepare now to avoid problems in the future. Number 10 is be heading for something. 
This means something bad will probably happen. For example, they argue a lot. They might be heading for a divorce. Or, if he gets reelected, we will be headed for a lot of trouble. You should also know that some of these can also be used with the word on added to it. Some examples are, we'll head on over there in a few minutes, or let's head on back home now, or I plan to head on out around 10, or I'll head on down to your house. I didn't realize that there were so many phrasal verbs that used the word head until I started planning this video. It ended up a lot longer than I expected, but the next one is going to be even longer because there are a ton of idioms that use the word head. If you're serious about learning English and would like to learn more from me, then you can start by going to this page and you will find all sorts of ways to learn more English from me. Goodbye, and remember, with hope, anything is possible.